God asserts today that you are not inferior. You are neither inferior nor incompetent. When you examine the depths of your soul and perceive want, deficiency, and incapacity, it is not the perspective I would like you to adopt. Learn to perceive yourself through the lens of my promise. Blood was poured on your behalf so that you may rise on eagle's wings and perceive the world and your life from the vantage point of a conqueror rather than a victim. Proclaim to your soul, I am not a victim, I shall not become a victim. Nonetheless, the barriers of oppression and superficial self-perception will disintegrate before you, revealing for the first time my perspective of you and the identity to which I have summoned you. You are not subordinate. You are not unattractive. You are not inferior. You are more than a conqueror because of my presence within you. Countries and monarchs will submit to you. Angels will be evaluated in your presence. The gavel is in your possession to adjudicate and render a decision. You are designated as a ruler, and I refer to you as king and priest. Concur with my previous and current statements. Cease insulting yourself and engaging in self-deprecation. Envision yourself as the individual for whom I sacrificed my only begotten son. I refer to you as adored. You are cherished. Commence the process of rediscovering self-love anew. Embrace self-love, without it. You would fail to comprehend my affection for you and will be incapable of genuinely loving others. Today, God asserts that confidence is a gift bestowed upon you. Confidence is not a transgression. I fashioned you as an entity of trust, not as a subservient being quaking in fear. Confidence and humility in your life are not mutually exclusive. Confidence and humility can coexist within the same heart and may dwell in yours today. The Father advises us to be confident. I declared in my word via the esteemed psalmist of Israel that I would be the assurance for all the earth. To what greater extent will I embody your confidence today? You are my cherished one. You are the individual for whom the blood of Calvary was sacrificed. Have confidence in your identity as I have designed you. Have confidence in the talents, skills, anointing, and abilities I have bestowed upon you, so that you may advance and thrive today. The Father asserts, I am your confidence. I will prevent your foot from being ensnared and your route from being obstructed in any manner. When faced with hurdles, draw into my power and advance. I do not accept refusal, consequently, you will not accept refusal either. Engage with the land and your surroundings to extract from life that which has been promised to you. Do not presume that delays or obstacles are a result of my actions. Oppose the devil, and he will retreat. Recognize the challenge and confront it, barriers will collapse and opportunities will arise. Persist until achievement is attained. Success is your inherent condition. Your God asserts that failure is an unfamiliar realm for which you were not designed. God instructs you to commence this year by placing your trust in Him. Have confidence in my influence on your life and in the person I designed you to be. I created you with a distinctive and radiant design. Before the creation of the universe, I designated you to be sanctified and blameless before me in love. There was no contingency for failure. No anticipation of disaster, brokenness, or devastation existed. I knew you in your mother's womb. I engaged with your formless essence and manifested you on earth at a designated time. You are not an error. You are not a mere product of biology. 
You exceed the mere aggregation of your components and constituents. Therefore, place your trust not alone in me, but also in the person I have created you to be. Be cleansed of all transgressions. Obtain absolution. Embrace my lordship not merely on abstract concepts but as an essential sustenance in your daily life. Accept and engage with salvation as a daily resource designed to sustain you throughout each 24-hour cycle as a beneficiary of my mercy and benevolence. You are my creation. Have confidence in the labor of my hands. Have confidence in the identity I have crafted for you. Trust in the design I have created for you. From that viewpoint, your self-assurance reflects your confidence in me. This year does not signify grief, catastrophe, or the conclusion of existence. You are intricately and remarkably created to fulfill a purpose imbued with goodness and blessings. Partake of that cup of promise and understand that I will accompany you through every instant and every second of the forthcoming days, for I have bestowed my love onto you, and my love is unfailing. God declares today that I am affirming my presence within you. I am the entity within you executing the task. I am imparting to you, in this instant, something you cannot cultivate inside yourself via your endeavors or intellect. I shall now deliver what you anticipated receiving through the process via impartation. Embrace openness in both your heart and mind and my influence will arrive, leading to your transformation. I reiterate that you will undergo a transformation and be irrevocably altered. Therefore, ascend today into my repose, declares the Father. Rise and take your place designated for you before time and eternity. This day is a complimentary gift bestowed upon you from my heart of favor towards you as my cherished one. Proclaim to your soul, today, I am a new creation in Christ Jesus. I will support you in times of difficulty and will protect you with compassion and benevolence. This is your legacy and bequest in me, declares your God. God declares that he has heard you on a designated day. In death, one is destined to die once, whereas in life, one is destined to live perpetually. I live eternally, thus, you also live eternally proclaims the Father. It is a sacred act that I do within you. Your inner being is being stirred by the hand of my grandeur. You will see my face, and my hand will move you profoundly, allowing you to understand and experience the transformative life that renders you a new creation. Embrace life this day, declares the Father. Embrace the life the ZOE life for which I sacrificed at Calvary, so that you may seize and embody it. This constitutes the release. This is the moment in which you are embodying my loving, that you may partake of my affirmation and my agreement. Arise, declares the Father, and embody the identity I have designated for you. Fulfill the task to which I have summoned you. Eliminate fear. Eliminate skepticism. Express your innermost feelings as a libation, and I will abundantly bless and transform your life, as well as the lives of others around you, rendering them unrecognizable for the glory I will bestow upon you. A new day has commenced. The Father declares it is a new era, indeed, a culmination of time in your life. My selected season is emerging to instigate change, transformation, and joy within you today, says your God. Before the video continues, please like the video, share it with your family and write Amen in comment. God proclaims today my depths are summoning your depths today. When you invoke my name, I shall listen, upon hearing, I will respond, and you will witness my majesty. I will conceal you in the rock's cleft and proceed, 
I will not reveal my posterior as I did to Moses of antiquity, but I will unveil my visage, my visage you shall witness, and you will be transformed. I am altering and reforming you now, for I am your king and your God. You shall overpower your adversaries due to the radiant illumination of my grandeur in your existence. You shall extol my name eternally and boast in me, for I shall never abandon you nor fail you. The Father proclaims that there is no failure in me, consequently, there is no failure in you. The Father admonishes the rejection of the theology of failure. Disavow the culture of derision and ridicule that envelopes you overflowing with its disgrace. I will compel you to rise and recognize me as I truly am, resulting in an everlasting transformation. I am working with you today. I am operating within you and manifesting through you to exhibit my image and my likeness. When others gaze into your eyes, they will perceive my love and my spirit reflected therein. I shall disclose to you the bride you are destined to become. As you invoke me today, I shall bestow upon you additional blessings. I shall bestow upon you an abundance of my essence and vigor, enabling you to accompany me and envelop the planet in justice and truth as I proclaim my war song over the nations. Men shall shudder and venerate the sun. They will approach in fear recognizing that I have loved you and have borne the grave cost of Calvary, enabling them to be completely liberated from sin, death, and mortal constraints, declares your Father. God proclaims that today the Lion of Judas shall roar, yet the enemies will not quiver. Shall I invade the stronghold of darkness without instilling fear and trepidation in the enemy? Have I not made a promise? Have I not served as your reassurance throughout the night hours? As you have placed your trust, I shall fulfill my promise. As you anticipated, I shall fulfill my promise. I am neither a man who would deceive nor the son of man who would feel remorse. I shall express my unwavering determination to obliterate all the endeavors of the adversary until only smoke and ashes remain of their schemes, for you are my beloved, and I am ascending and proclaiming this day in your favor. The Father commands, call out. Shall I refrain from responding? Call upon me, and I shall visit you in splendor, revealing to you the extent of my might and might. The Father declares, I will expose my arm in your defense, causing humanity to tremble and recognize the existence of a supreme being upon whose palm your name is inscribed. I shall never forget you. I shall never abandon my mercies on your account. I shall arrive and engage in conflict, rendering judgment alongside the sovereigns of the earth, and I will establish you in righteousness and truth eternally, declares the Father. No individual will influence you. No fortress will withstand you, for I reside within you, demonstrating and affirming my fidelity until the entirety of the cross's benefits is conferred upon your life, declares your God. God proclaims that you are currently positioned in celestial realms. I occupy celestial realms, and since you are within me, you are similarly positioned in heavenly places in Christ. You exist in the celestial realm, whereas I reside in the terrestrial domain. I proclaim today and address your spirit, that you may accept all that I offer you. I address the fundamental elements of your being on earth to obtain the authority and comprehension that you transcend principalities, powers, might and dominions. I am dismantling and condemning any program and plan that functions against you. The malevolent powers operating against you have been vanquished. The Father declares that there is no longer any disaster. A breakthrough into the skies allows one to be elevated above them and comprehend the essence of governance. Governance and sovereignty occur not solely posthumously, they are present in the current moment. I am commencing my dominion within you, over you, and through you at this very now. 
The celestial beings assigned to you since your inception are monitoring your every action. They are monitoring your minutes, hours, days, weeks, and months, and they are designated and authorized to facilitate breakthroughs in your life. As you submit to me today and abandon the earthly while surrendering your human nature to my divine grace, I will rejuvenate you and inundate you with my glory, enabling you to complete your race with joy and unreserved commitment to my highest purpose for your life. God declares that now he is imparting an anointing for the marketplace throughout the earth. I will dispatch you into the public square, allowing my voice to resonate by your words, actions, and comportment. I am awakening the gifts within you, and you shall neither apologize nor equivocate concerning the talents bestowed upon you by my hand. You will exemplify my essence beyond the confines of the religious domain, and even non-believers will seek you to inquire about the hope within you. I will extend favor to those who have resisted the gospel, and you will convey my message, which will embody reconciliation, hope, and transformation. I am bestowing upon you a degree of grace and comprehension to facilitate the sharing of your religion, which you have previously found challenging. I will assemble the appropriate individuals at the opportune moment to collaborate with you in an innovative approach to the Great Commission that will facilitate receptiveness and create numerous opportunities. You inquired about the timing, the Father affirms that it will be determined. Commence prayer for the provision of the launch. I will collaborate with those who believe in your endeavors. They will support you, and blessings will be bestowed upon them and you. Embrace the knowledge I am sharing and embark on your destined path. Before the video continues, I request you to comment Amen and if you are able to help financially so you can do super thanks. God advises against engaging in conflict now. Conflict and discord extinguish the anointing and exclude my presence from your life. Conflict requires the participation of two offenders, do not become one of them. Debate, dispute, and unsanctified opinion are tactics employed by the adversary to divert your focus from prioritizing the kingdom. Resolve to prevent the adversary from exploiting your ego and pride to divert you from the road I have established for you. Seek tranquility and inner calm as your sanctuary throughout challenging and confrontational moments. The restrictions I have established are intended to safeguard and uphold the grace and empowerment I have bestowed upon your life. You must assume responsibility for your reaction to misguided opinions and misinformation presented by adversaries. Continue to express affection. Continue engaging in expressions of affection. At times, love involves the reinforcement of boundaries. At times, love entails the refusal to maintain a facade of happiness and remain silent. Assess the circumstances and heed my instruction and direction. I will consistently guide you to a state of tranquility and advancement. I will never authorize or endorse your engagement in a futile trajectory of perpetual discord and contention. When temptation arises, seek tranquility and introspect to discern my message and react accordingly. By doing so, you will maintain your path and continue pursuing the kingdom. Refrain from judging, validating, or evaluating, including your behaviors at times. I shall arrive. I will intervene in the matter, and all participants will be evaluated and compensated based on my assessment, declares the Father. God proclaims that today he does not tread upon toes, but rather washes feet. I am cleansing your feet with the water of my word and anointing your head with the oil of joy. Throughout this day, you will impart the essence of my spirit to everybody whom you encounter. Individuals will trail behind, drawn by the scent. For some, it represents the fragrance of life, for others, it signifies the scent of death, which they wish to avoid entirely. 
I will designate those whom I choose and will impose my mark upon those who reject the testimony of my truth, compelling them in their lives as if drawn by a hook in their jaw. The essence of my spirit resides within you and is now manifesting supernaturally. You will recognize it as the fragrance of my favor, for I have bestowed my affection upon you today. I am demonstrating my favor, even my profound favor towards you today. I have affection for all, including sinners. Nevertheless, I favor certain individuals more than others, with whom I will associate and bestow my distinct blessings and benefits. At times, you may have experienced alone and a sense of inability to persevere, yet, the Father advises you to persist unwaveringly. I am a formidable deity. I am a supreme deity, and by placing your trust in me, I shall rejuvenate your vigor. You will ascend with the wings of eagles. You are transcending life's challenges, and as you elevate and extend your wings, you will shed the false burdens and commence to ascend in my spirit. Rejoice, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. I am instigating metamorphosis and transfiguration in your life today, which you will perceive and recognize as your new position in me, a realm of tranquility and advantage beyond your imagination. God proclaims that it is perpetually election season in my kingdom. It is perpetually election season, and you are among my chosen. I refer to you as the chosen of my kingdom, for in my kingdom, as the Father states, my vote is the sole one that holds significance. I have chosen you for the privilege. I have appointed you to a position of power, privilege, and grace. You cannot be impeached, for I am your righteousness, and your certainty lies in me. I have chosen you, hence, you shall assume your position and govern as my cherished one on earth. You are my chosen, and there exists a power and a favor that resides upon you. I am bestowing a scepter upon you that will unleash my power to facilitate breakthroughs in your life and the lives of others. You seek my guidance, yet I have bestowed upon you the authority, you now reside within the realm of my favor. All that remains is for you to advance with anticipation, confident that I am expanding the ground beneath your feet with each step you take. Allow your mouth to pray, dear one. Dismiss the petitions of lamentation and doubt. Instead, pray, Father, I request your focus on that matter. As you pray, I will act via my hand and concentrate specifically on the matters and individuals you mention in your prayers. Through your prayers for those who oppose themselves, you will witness transformations in hearts and the conversion of obstinate minds to contrition and repentance. I will dismantle the spirit of pride, the Leviathan spirit that has rendered others in your life obstinate and stubborn. They will approach you not due to your identity, but because of my presence within you. They will arrive and gaze directly at you, indicating their readiness to listen to your words. You will articulate the sentiments you have yearned to express, facilitating healing and repair in fractured relationships, as you embody and communicate my unfailing love, declares the Father. God proclaims today that he is adorning you with the vestment of pleasure. The adversary seeks to envelop you in a pall of despair and despondency, yet I have intervened on your behalf to thwart his scheme. The situation is not devoid of hope. I consistently offer an escape route. You are not at an impasse. I am the path, the truth, and the essence of your existence. What can humanity inflict upon you? I am your path, hence, you cannot be impeded. As I embody your truth, the facts can never refute my commitment to you and regarding you. As I am integral to your existence, you will possess a life of significance. Your days will not be abbreviated, nor will you be denied. Place your hope and expectations in me, rather than in the deceptive circumstances the enemy may present on the horizon. 
Do not permit the adversary to mislead you into accepting the unfavorable result. The adversary of your spirit proclaims, you are deserving of this, you are unworthy of existence. The Father asserts that it is not about you. Your blessing is contingent upon my essence within you, rather than your actions or omissions. Guilt and guilt do not dictate your results. I am the deity of life and abundant existence. As you surrender all to me and place your trust in me, you will emerge from your struggles renewed and jubilant. The adversary deceives you by asserting your insignificance, but I affirm that your value is defined by my identity and the actions I undertook for you two millennia ago. Your life's purpose transcends merely enduring one trial after another. I am facilitating a pathway to your moment of blessing. Overcome melancholy and despondency, don your running shoes, for I am the wind beneath your wings, propelling you toward the finish line of triumph.